Howdy folks, welcome back to another excellent episode of Vault Supreme Synth VGM Dream Stream Machine Podcast, where we play the synthiest synth VGM tunes in the universe. Well, I hope you're all doing well during these interesting times. Uh, my family and I are doing well. We've got another kid on the way, which makes things a little bit interesting. But apart from that, we're coping well. Uh, I know some people are really struggling, so hopefully <laughs> this podcast uh, is a very small way for me to bring a little bit of musical joy into your lives, whether you're up or down. Anyway, I appreciate you all tuning in and enjoying some very nice video game music with me. Now, I actually never intended on doing themes every single week, but I guess it just kind of naturally happens that way and, and it makes sense to do it that way as well. But anyway, this week I decided to just play some nice synthy tunes, no strings attached. The themes are always great. Uh, but sometimes you just got to play some good music for the sake of playing good music. And on that note, I want to give a few shout outs to some other great podcasts that worth checking out. So first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Alex the Messenger and his awesome podcast, a VGM Journey. He's had a few themed episodes, but generally what you get is a very, very nice mix of just all kinds of video game music. You've got about half an hour of really solid tunes, often stuff I've never heard, which is always great. Um, but it's all stuff that's just as good musically as any other famous, well-known VGM track. So I highly, highly recommend checking that out. A VGM journey. Also, it really inspired me to do this podcast. So thanks, Alex. And do y'all selves a favor and check it out. Okay, well, let's get this synth trainer rolling by introducing our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my very good friend and regular guest all the way from the hip-hop haven of Brooklyn, New York. It's Donnie Smalls. Yeah. Great to have you back, Donnie. Boys, thanks for having me back on, the, on your great podcast. It's, it's everywhere, actually. Thank you, bro. <laughs> it's my pleasure, Donnie. And actually, uh, I wasn't going to mention this, but Donnie, your favorite guest... Um, amongst our listeners. I've, That's great. I've even had people email me with petitions, with thousands of signatures saying that they want Donny Smalls to be the host of this podcast. Oh. Um, oh. Personally, I find that very offensive. But um, hey, the people love you, Donny, and, and I can see why. Well, of course, I've been around for a very long time commentating on hip-hop music, so... I guess I have a pretty strong and formidable presence <laughs> yeah, it's probably, on, uh, on the microphone. Yeah, yeah. that's probably it, Donnie. Um, well, let's kick this off with a real banger of a tune. This track really grabbed my attention when I first heard it. It's super fun. This is Nyakuza, Nyakuza uh, Manholes from the game I Had In Time, Nyakuza Metro. And it's composed by the fantastic Pascal Michael Staffel, uh, along with the very fun Nelward. I've been itching to play this for a very long time. So this is Nyakuza Manholes, and it goes out to Alex the Messenger. Enjoy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
How about that, eh? That's pretty good. Oh, Voss, that was that was crazy. Very cartoony production. I really loved that. Just flipping my brain inside out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a stellar track. Um, pretty funny kind of song, but seriously good composition-wise. Kinds of it, it kind of stands out from the rest of A Hat in Time. Um, Style-wise, the whole I Had in Time soundtrack is really good. I'll probably do a, a whole episode on A Hat in Time in the future as it's got a really couple of solid synth-heavy soundtracks. But anyway, let's move on to something a little bit smoother. This next track is Portobello Head from the game Crypt of the Necrodancer, another game with a seriously solid synth-heavy soundtrack. This is real top-notch stuff, and this was composed by the amazing Danny Baranowski. You'll love this, Donny. I dedicate oh. it to you. Oh, thanks, for I appreciate it, Dan. It's very mysterious, but it also has that nice section that makes you feel very, very triumphant. And obviously, I'm really crisp on those hip hop beats. That's, a ter- that's just a terrific track. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that one, Donnie. That's just one of the many amazing tunes from that soundtrack. So I encourage you all to check it out if you haven't already. But okay. Up next, we have a great tune from the game Lovely Planet 2, which is described as a very cute first-person shooter. The track is April Mountain, composed by Callum Bowen. And this tune goes out to a great listener of the show, and he's also a composer, Forrest, who is in the middle of putting together a YouTube sitcom titled Castle Corp, Castle Corp, Castle Corporation, however you want to say it. 
which is about Nintendo stars getting by in financially tough times. I've seen a few previews on Instagram and I'm pretty confident. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty fun little series or show. So I'm looking forward to when that launches. Uh, yeah, you need to s- stay tuned for that one, Castle Corp. Um, so, yep. This one's for you, Forrest. It's April Mountain by Callum Bowen. Everyone, please enjoy. Yeah, that's some seriously. Ta- oh, wow. That's some seriously talented stuff right there. Uh, it's got a real, it's got a real solid classic VGM kind of vibe to it, but it's it's a pretty unique track as well. So, well, yeah, we'll keep moving on. Uh, okay, time for something a little bit more upbeat. Uh, this next track is called "Cosmic Hero" from Next Machina by Ari Polkinen. And this track goes out to the synth lover Carl Margi, also known as Mooney. He's got a great synth-related blog where he interviews lots of artists and reviews tons of synthy albums. There's a huge amount of content on there, so you should all check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, You'll find lots of great stuff that you didn't know existed. So, okay, here we go. Cosmic Hero by Ari Paul Kinnan, enjoy.
Oh yeah, great stuff. Well, that's really great, but I, I think I'll add that to my weightlifting playlist. Probably be able to lift the extra three or four pounds with that one playing. <laughs> uh, you're, a, you're a weightlifter, are you, Donny? Oh, of course, you can't tell. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, I guess the image is a bit pixelated on my screen, so I can't. Yeah, I can't quite tell. Sorry. Oh, seriously, maybe I need a better webcam. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably it. Sorry, buddy. But all right, let's get on to our next track. This one is from one of my all-time favorite BGM composers. It's Disaster Piece. Uh, we've got a few Disaster Piece episodes coming up, actually. But um, for now, here's something from his Famaze soundtrack. And it's called Sticky Sewers. And this one goes out to someone from the very sticky land of the beavers, Nathan Daniels, a.k.a. Utopia Nemo. Enjoy, Nathan, and enjoy everyone else. love disaster piece so much so much thought goes into his music um and you know that overall it sounds like a basically a pretty simple track but you just listen to the little details he puts in there like those uh the placement of those accents um i don't know Uh, it's great i'm looking forward to doing some episodes on disaster piece i've kind of been putting it off for a little while just because I know I'm going to have to put a little bit extra work into that. Um, he's provided a lot of great information on his on his tracks and the thought that's gone into each one of them. So it's going to be a lot of fun going through uh, a sample of his music from at least a couple of soundtracks um, in some episodes. Anyway, yeah, but I, I noticed he's been doing quite a few film soundtracks lately. Some some really terrific work as well yeah yeah they are really good um probably not what you'd expect if you'd only listen to maybe a few of his video game soundtracks but yeah he's a he's a super talented composer one of my favorites and yeah we're gonna we're gonna dive deep into his music in the future oh that's great for us i'm really looking forward to that um Mini Metro is seriously one of my favorite games. It's, it's very, very good. Very clever. Yeah, no, I love that game as well. It's an absolute work of art. The way every element on the screen has a, a sound and it all comes together to make this wonderful dynamic soundtrack. It's just fantastic. But uh, all right, so next up we've got some seriously good chip chew music from the artist Flashy Goodness. And this is Mystic Gardens from the game Bean Dreams, and it's dedicated to the composer and chip tuner modal module. Enjoy this amazing track.
There's so much great music from the mysterious artist known as Flashy Goodness. Uh, lots of really high quality stuff. I'll definitely be playing more Flashy Goodness in the future. And that was <clears throat> dedicated to Modal Module, who also writes some really good chiptune music. Not just chiptune music, but chiptune seems to be a pretty big part of what he does. And yeah, he's a really talented composer, so why don't we play one of his tunes? I, I really appreciate his experimental stuff, but here's something a little bit more on the traditional side. This is The Big Fight from the soundtrack to Hyper Hitboxing. Excellent stuff. Enjoy. <laughs> Got a, he's got an album of Game Boy chiptune music as well, which is on Spotify. Musings, Game Boy chiptunes volume one, and there's some really great stuff on there. It's a, a it's a real good mix of kind of traditional chiptune music and some really experimental stuff. Where, at least to my ears, someone who doesn't do that kind of music, uh, <laughs> it sounds like he's really uh, pushing the boundaries of certain Game Boy trackers, whatever he's using. It's good. You go, you go check it out. Really interesting and a very large mix of mostly very short tunes. Good stuff. Just go search modal module, one word. But let's move on. Donnie, it's your turn. You brought a track for us today, didn't you? Oh, hell and yes. Oh, hell and yes, Mr. Supreme. Uh, look, I, I like to try and represent my hip-hop roots. So here is something from a very big-time hip-hop producer, Dose One. Uh, it's, it's from the video game Gang Beasts. And the track is Gang Beasts Night. It's very, very simply, folks. I, I picked this because I know you would love it. Uh, you, you will no doubt love this track. Gang Beast Nights by Dose One and Bob Lardo. All right, looking forward to it. Let's let's give it a listen.
that was great. Oh, hell and yes! <laughs> I love this one. Like, he's, he's a pretty serious rapper that has become a pretty, pretty big name in indie video game music production. He's, he's a very talented artist and rapper, uh, doing all kinds of creative productions. I, I think everyone should check his creations out. If you want great VGM tracks, you've got it. If you want to hear him beating the crap out of street beaters with some very ferocious freestyle polyrhythmic whapping, you've got it. Dose <laughs> one is a very special and multi-talented artist. I uh, love it, Donny. Um, yeah, that track had tons of tons of good vibes to it. Very atmospheric, good stuff. Okay, well, it's pretty hard to follow that, but I'm gonna play one of my own tunes now. Um, I recently took part in a week-long game jam with a uh, a rock caveman theme um, if you don't know what a game jam is it's a uh, it's a pretty friendly competition where you get given a very short amount of time to create a game from scratch um, in this instance it was one week sometimes they're one day um, sometimes they're one decade it, it can be anything generally the time is very short so this is a one week game jam um, so it's a rock theme caveman theme something along those lines anyway I did the music and the sound effects and Noble Lemon did all the game design and artwork and he, he did a really great job and we ended up actually winning the competition which is a bit of fun Especially when the other games were pretty good as well. Anyway, this track is called Creatures of Sundown from the game Caveman Boy. And I want to dedicate this, <laughs> even though it's a bit weird dedicating my own song, but I have a reason. I want to dedicate this next track to Bedroth and Shoot Kapow, who recently have started a father and son VGM podcast. VGM, very good music. And look, it's a pretty ambitious podcast title, but so far they have definitely delivered the goods every single episode. So it's always very good music and the father and son combo is something I really appreciate. Uh, Bedroth is also a very solid supporter of VGM podcasts. So Bedroth and Shuka Pal, this track is for you. And the reason I'm dedicating this track to you is because Bedroth, you did say to me you intended on doing a caveman episode in the future or something along those lines. So I'm keen for that if you actually end up doing it. This is Creatures of Sundown from Caveman Boy. Enjoy everyone. <laughs>
Creatures of Sundown by the extremely talented composer Vault Supreme. <laughs> uh, that's on Spotify if you want to hear more or iTunes, all those kind of places. And actually, all of this episode's songs are on Spotify. So go and stream away. And feel free to find my Synth VGM Dream Stream Machine playlist, which has on, on Spotify, sorry, uh, which has over 84 hours of synth video game music just waiting to be devoured by your hungry ears. Anyway, we've got a few more tracks to get through, uh, so... Oh, that's, that's a one of tracks. That's a serious collection. Yeah, I just keep adding and adding. Anyway, let's get to another tune. This is this is a seriously cool song by the composer Finger Spit, whatever that means. But this is from the amazing soundtrack to the Red Strings Club, and honestly, this is this is top stuff. All right. Um, and I want to dedicate this to two people. Dan the Phantom Meyer and Ed Wilson. Um, Dan has a really neat podcast, The Village Persons uh, podcast, which is a very detailed look into the lives of members of 70s disco group, The Village People. Oh, excellent. Great. Yeah, no. I thought that might have been funny, but now that I'm saying it, it's not very funny at all. No, but I'll, it's not. It's not very <laughs> funny at all. I'm going to leave it in anyway um, so you can laugh at me, not with me. But anyway, no, he... Him and his wife both host uh, their podcast, which focuses on family life and raising kids. But hopefully you'll hear Dan on this podcast um, really soon. We've got some stuff lined up. Um, oh, great. He's done some really good stuff on lots of other good podcasts, uh, particularly he did a really, really wild episode with Ed Wilson on Ed Wilson's VG Embassy and you should all know Ed by now because either you've already been listening to his podcast which you should be or you've heard his amazing contributions to this show specifically the uh, Space Ace episodes and he, he also helps me out on other episodes whether I tell you about it or not but um, yeah, Ed, Ed's podcast, The VG Embassy, is really good. It's one of my favorite video game podcasts, video game music podcasts. And yeah, if you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor and, and check it out. I um, definitely will. But yeah, I'm aware we're going well over time right now, and I've still got two more songs to get to. I thought this was going to be a really quick episode, but it's it's not. All right, so... Ed and Dan, this track is for you. It's seriously amazing stuff. Lots of excellent synth, but the production, the production is really crazy with tons of glitchy guitar parts. And yeah, it's really, it's a really clever track. The whole soundtrack's great. If you don't, if you haven't heard it, check it out. Let's stop talking and just listen. This is Machine Learning by Fingerspit. Seriously good stuff. Enjoy.
VGM Dream Stream Machine? Oh, you know it, you know it. Uh, great track, folks. That's, uh, that was great. Oh, my goodness. Qu crazy. Dreamy, dreamy. Very, very dreamy. Uh, yeah, good one, Donnie. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it honestly, it is, that's super dreamy uh, in an intense kind of way. Um, there's, there's lots of really dreamy kind of tracks like that on the soundtrack. Some really good synth, really good synth stuff. Lots of good guitar work as well. Anyway, we've reached the end of the road. I enjoyed doing a few dedications and I've got many more people to thank and send love to. So I'll have to do this again in the future. Let's end this with something really nice, Donnie. And thanks for being on the show again. Uh, we kind of rushed through this one, even though we've gone way over time but uh yeah hopefully next time we can have a bit more a bit more of a chance to to chat together well boss, it's just great to hear those super terrific tracks and just try, taste the rainbow always super great i just love love being on your podcast yeah thanks buddy uh i appreciate you coming on again and guys and girls thank you all for tuning in uh i hope you enjoyed this episode remember to share and like if you want to reciprocate the love all right, thanks again, Donnie. Um, no problem. This last tune goes out to my man, Bob Feezer, the man with a silver tongue. You you would have heard his contributions on the space episodes. He's, he's a lot of fun to work with, and I can't thank him enough for what he brings to this show. He's a great voice actor, but also full double whammy. He's also a very clever writer as well he cracks me up I can, I can listen to the stuff he sends me about 10 times and I'm laughing just as much um, after after the 10th time as I did the first time I read or heard the stuff he comes up with anyway uh, this, is a, this is a tune for you Bob and it also is dedicated to everyone else in the entire universe so please enjoy and I'll catch you all next week thanks Donny no um, yep but this is Final Voyage from Outer Wilds by Andrew Pralo. Oh, Peace and stay synthetic, everyone. And but this is a really good soundtrack, by the way, so make sure you check it out. Outer Wilds. Final Voyage by Andrew Pralo. Enjoy. Catch you all next time. See you later. <laughs>